Hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. I found a really weird article that tried to make something incredible sound like something bad was going on and I need everyone's opinion cuz maybe maybe I'm going completely insane. So when cryptocurrency prices go up, people holding crypto benefit. Are we all on the same page? I heard someone say, yep, thank you very much for that. Um, when the market, or even Bitcoin's price, has tripled in a year, we can assume that people holding Bitcoin have made money and have you know gotten richer, as, as, as it were. I'm seeing a lot of people compare, how do I say this in like the nicest way? I'm seeing a lot of people doing comparisons to things that don't make any sense. And then they're releasing news and articles about it as if it's supposed to be something shocking and or weird to us. For those of you who don't know, um, I'm sorry to tell you, we are still not in 2025. I don't know if you if you got the memo. And it'll make a lot of sense in a couple minutes, I promise you. A lot of people are comparing the accumulation levels that we are currently seeing by the ETF companies, by retail investors, by the banks who are trying to buy Bitcoin but they can't, with previous bull runs. Now, at the time of me making this video, we still are not at the having. I know it's insane. I've said those words three trillion times. We're still not there and it needs to be said because people are constantly, and it's, ma it's mainly on Twitter and on, and on Reddit right now. A lot of people keep saying that we're not hitting milestones that happen uh, after the having has taken place. Now, why in the world are we not hitting any milestones after the? Because the ha the having still has not still has not taken place. A lot of articles that I'm seeing are comparing the metrics of new users, and in this case as well, uh, new millionaires being produced by the cryptocurrency and by the Bitcoin market comparative to other bull runs. And I'll even give you one step further. They're comparing it to the movements in prices in 2017 and 2021. Can anyone tell me why that's why that's nonsensical? Because those that's a year after the having has happened, and we are not at our having. Nonetheless, have we gone over a year after the having? If this was April 2025, I would go, "Oh boy, I guess they're correct." But guess what? They're not because we ha have not gotten to the to the actual having. That's why I said this news came out. And I read through it and I had to read several times because I was like, no, I, I'm, it's me. I'm missing something. I'm the problem. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not getting it. Um, the news is in 2021, during the raging bull market, and I mean raging comparative to, you remember what was going on. Um, apparently, every day, it says daily, there were 4,000 new wallets, 4,000 new wallets uh, that became millionaires who were holding Bitcoin. 4,000 every single day. Um, yep, that's also, yeah, then they're talking about this year. So the news is that during the 2021 bull run, as the prices were going up and people who held Bitcoin and crypto became millionaires. E everyone's still with me. The negative news is, is that they're saying that now, like now, today, that apparently there's only around 1,500 new millionaire wallets each day. Hmm. Well, that's, well, that's because we have, that's because we haven't gotten to the, ha and we're not a year after... A lot of the news that's floating around right now is people comparing today. And I, I'll even give you April to a year after the having is taken. Remember the news that we had before? You must remember where we were talking about the movement, the typical 
movements in price of the cryptocurrency market after the halving has taken place, how much Bitcoin goes up percentage wise, how much the altcoins rise. I don't know why I said it that way. Go up in price after the halving has taken place. To even think, to even think, to even think of writing an article or to have it in some negative way that every day we are seeing 1,500 new millionaires. You know how long it takes to make a million dollars? Can you imagine working in a supermarket, working behind a desk, trying to work your way up to a million dollars? Now imagine buying some cryptocurrencies, and, I, and I'll use the word relaxing, just sitting, you know, going about your life, if you will, and then at some point you become a millionaire. 1500 it says 1500 millionaire wallets each day the problem is is that we're not getting that 4000 like we were before during the the last bull bull market that's why i said maybe 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 baby maybe i'm the one who's who's not paying attention here uh 1500 1500 New people every single day becoming millionaires from this market. And I'll even drag it back a little bit. While a million sounds spectacular, uh, for those of you who don't know, a half a million dollars is also a lot of money, as is a quarter of a million. So uh, I'll say it this way. If we have 1,500 new millionaires per day, how many new hundred thousand heirs do we have? How many new hundred thousand heirs will we have over the, after the halving? Because we have not gotten there yet. And then also after. And then after, after. The three-month period, the six-month period, the nine-month period. And then we get to 2025. And then the market's still going to continue going as well. So, like, yeah. I just, I, I, just, I just thought maybe maybe it was me. Maybe I'm not understanding something where only 1,500 new millionaires per day from this market is, like, seen as something terrible or sad or something like that. Because I, I, I mean... I can only hope that the people who are throwing this news around, uh, that when we do get to 2025, that they're also releasing news about how many new wallets are becoming millionaires every single day as well. I feel like a lot of times people just aren't really paying attention to like the right things within the cryptocurrency space and or are simply looking for a way, I don't want to say engage with people, but it's more like a... New new millionaires every day who old crypto uh, isn't a bad thing, especially when it's lo like we're like we're we're ahead of schedule like like minting new millionaires every single day within within this space. So and I mean even more so um, for those of you who haven't seen the numbers, uh, it is expected that uh, people are expecting a a Bitcoin price during this bull run of anywhere uh, anywhere. From two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to the illustrious uh, six hundred thousand dollars per Bitcoin. So, if we're creating this many rich people now, imagine if Bitcoin actually hits half a million dollars during this run. That means holding to Bitcoin, you're a millionaire. And I and I would love to see a negative article about that as well. Like, I I, I can't even. Um, yeah. Um. I, I'm a, a bit of a weird video, I know, but I, I keep seeing weird news and I think it just translates into a weird video then as well. The market's doing great. Um, everything looks spectacular. The amount of new people getting into the market uh, is also great uh, simply because I have a, a wish that we um, see more normal people buying up Bitcoin than the than the companies who already own the world. That's kind of my my hope in all of this. I want normal people to become hundred thousand heirs and or millionaires because you know the billionaires shouldn't have all the fun. Yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this video. What was the name of the company? Ah, Kaiko Research. K A I K O Research. Uh huh. I do hope that you've all enjoyed. I do hope you all are having a great day, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you all.